Hello, this is Lloyd Tran. I'm the director of the California Institute of Nanotechnology in San Jose, California. There are the long list of uh, nanotech companies in the U.S. and around the world. I estimate there are more than 1,650 nanotech companies around the world, among them about uh, almost 1,000 companies in the U.S. Within uh, the city of uh, San Jose and uh, the Bay Area, there are more than uh, 100 nanotech companies call themselves in that uh, space. There are some leading companies in the Bay Area, such as uh, Intel, IBM, Toshiba, HP, to name a few. And those are in semiconducting business, in a pharmaceutical business, uh, companies like Baxter, Amgen, uh, Genetech uh, use uh, nanomaterials to develop the new medication, uh, medical treatment. Uh, Medtronic, for example, is a large medical device using nanomaterial technologies for development of the implant devices. In the uh, cosmetic products, uh, companies such as uh, L'Oreal, one of the leading cosmetic companies because they've been using nanotech companies of the technologies for the past uh, decade or two. L'Oreal uh, control more than 150 patents in nanomaterials, a leading company in this space as well. Uh, there are many companies using nanomaterials, making uh, consumer goods. Uh, Wilson, um, for example, they either they do it in-house or they contract a company such as uh, Jirex in Houston, Texas, to manufacturing the new component, the nanocomposite for the application. Those just list a few, and I'm sure there are many startup companies in the Bay Area I'm aware of, such as uh, Nanogram, uh, Nanomix, um, the companies in uh, Southern California, including Quantum Spear, um, Combimetrix, ADC Materials, those are exciting young companies, venture backed, and they develop a lot of nifty products in nanotechnologies. This is Lloyd Tran. I'm with the California Institute of Nanotechnology.